All right, most important thing, tell me tell me your name and, and your the title of your position here. I'm Betty Morgan, Director, Starbase Savannah at Hana Army Airfield. Okay, and just talk to me. Oh, talk to okay. you, yes, good. Yes, ma'am. See, I need to look at you. You need to tell me where to look, because yeah. I'm kind of crazy. I I'll be, I <laughs> after the fact. So what is, what is Starbase? What, what are you doing out here? Oh my God, Starbase is a STEM program, science, technology, engineering, and math. We're introducing it to the fifth graders. It's easier to catch the fifth graders rather than move them into high school or middle school. They are eager to learn. So it's a program and it's all about science, technology, engineering, and math. And these kids that you involve, uh, do they come for the year or a month or, or, or how does the program work? Each school is assigned a week or if they have four or five fifth grade classes, each school gets a week each for each class that they have and they are here from 9 o'clock on Monday through Friday and they leave out at 2 o'clock every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what, what method do you use? How do you go about teaching kids STEM related left brain stuff? I have two instructors, two very great instructors that come here every day and they teach those lessons to those children. Everything's hands-on, everything's minds-on, everything's computer-based. Therefore, they're just not sitting and listening to somebody lecture them all day long. They get the hands-on um, activities to do, so whatever they touch and feel, they remember, and they seem to love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the idea behind that? What, what does it do for a kid to come out here for a week and, and do that? The children will tell you it's not the same as being in the classroom because in the classroom they go from one lesson to the other and it's basically all books, paper, and pencil. But for them to leave their school and come to another site and be able to enjoy science, math in a different way, they all for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what's the bigger idea behind that? So, the, so they go back to their classrooms and, and after a week at, at Starbase, what, how, how have they changed? They have changed because they come here with the mindset of some of them saying, I want to be an NBA player. I want to be a basketball player. I want to be a football player. But once they come here and we give them what's known as the career game um, exercise, it tells them how much they have learned and what they can be when they grow up because that 84 questionnaire that they take gives them a chance to see 10 different job sites that they can get later. Sometimes it becomes an engineer, a, tech, uh, uh, a surgeon, mm -hmm. um, a doctor, a lawyer, teacher, mm -hmm. and it tells them how much money they make. It tells them um, how much education they need. So they go back to the school and says, guess what? I can do this and I can do that. Now I don't have to be this place. That can be my plan B exercise rather than my plan A. So they love coming here because of the fact that it changes them. They get a chance to understand that science and technology, math and engineering is the way to go now. That's the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to ask you that again just because you yeah. were playing this video game. That's all right. <laughs> no, the commercial came up. And he the ones that put your phone on silent, didn't he? I don't know. How, how, how are they changed when they leave here? How does, it, how does it change? It changes them because when they come here, they have the mindset of thinking that they're little kids and that's what they'll always be. But when they take that 84 questionnaire that we give them, it's a career game exercise. And once it tells them that they can select either 10 jobs of their choice after they put in the answers to those 84 questions, they become different kids because they're no longer little kids thinking about being NBA players or NFL players. They now can become scientists, engineers, doctors, surgeons, lawyers, police officers. So it changes their mindset. So they go back to school and says, hey, guess what I learned and guess what I've done. Children have even told their parents what they can become and the parents will say, what? Can you, do you think you can do that? And they'll say, yes, ma'am, because I was taught at Starbase that I can do anything that I can do later and become that person that I want to be. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, I was here on a day. Talk about the day I was here, what they were doing, and, and how that fits into your te teaching methodology. What they were doing were getting ready to race their cars. I think that's what they were doing when you right. came that day. And that's part of Newton's laws, Newton's three laws. They get the chance to see how the motion and the velocity and the speed all come together, especially when they get ready to do the mass of the cars. Each car is weight, weight, and when it is weighed, if the car is heavy, they understand that that car is going to be the last to come in. So the lighter the car, 
the faster it goes. So they learn that um, from the Newton's laws. So they just think they're putting a car together, but they don't understand uh, why they're putting it together until the car is actually raced. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then do you see light bulbs go off? Oh, light bulbs go off all the time because you can hear the oohs and ahs, especially when they come into this computer lab. When they get to do the CAD, which is computer aid design activities, they can't believe that they're actually working these computers. Of course, they're in the age of technology. It's easier for them to do. It's hard sometimes for grown-ups to do, but they catch on quickly. So, yes, we do see changes in oohs and ahs, and everything's awesome. If you ever read some of their final reflections, you'll see just what they say and, and how they say that Starbase is the best place for them. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Steve alluded to this. Um, how is, this isn't just something Hunter Army Airfield is doing. How, how does this become what it is? It becomes what it is because we are one of the, hmm, we, we started in 2012, but this program has been going on for the last 20 some odd years. Mm -hmm. um, we were kind of getting ready to start it um, about five, six years ago, but it didn't come together until 2012. And when it came together 2012, it took us a minute to get the people to understand, I should say administrators, to understand that yes, the children will be leaving their school sites for a week. Mm -hmm. And it's not a field trip, field trip where they just do nothing. Mm -hmm. This is a learning experience. They get everything from language arts, reading, writing, math, social studies, and science. So they're still getting the full curriculum every day. And the curriculum that we're getting from the Department of Defense teaches them all of these um, ag uh, um, objectives so that the students will understand that this is not a plaything. This is for real. Mm -hmm. And they understand that. So they're getting, they are fifth graders, but they're getting 10th grade work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And second. Okay. Steve mentioned the, the three legs that support this. This Explain that to me. We have Gulfstream. It's one of our supporters, and they're one of our great supporters because in this room that we're in right now, uh, one of the Gulfstream um, employees uh, wrapped this room, and it was a female. She came in, and it made it look like the inside of one of Gulfstream's hangars. That's one. And, of course, we have the school board, which is with Dr. Lockamy. He allowed, and I sure thank him for allowing um, transportation to be the part that picks up our students every Monday and makes sure they get back home safely to include every Friday. And of course, there's the Department of Defense, which supplies all of what we need to make this program run. Mm -hmm. So those are our three. Mm -hmm. And of course, our parents and our children, without them and our teachers, our schools, we couldn't run this program. Okay. Yeah. Um, Devil's advocate question. Okay. Why is the Department of Defense involved in this? That's where it stems from. That's where it started. You know, when you need money to get any program started, and since the Department of Defense has what we need, which is the monetary factor, um, they I'm glad that they decided to become a factor for star bases. And from years before we even got started, they were the ones who funded the programs. So without them we wouldn't be mm -hmm. unless we had some foundations that would really take control of salaries and supplies and equipment and whatever else is needed to run this program. So what do they think they get out of it? Wait a second, if I yeah. could, but also talk about how, the, how yeah. it's just the sugar daddy. We want the kids to, yeah, if, to perform better. What is, why is the Department of Defense interested in this? Okay, the Department of Defense is interested in this because years back when the program just started, um, United States students, especially at this age, were not interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. They hadn't probably even heard of it, especially STEM. STEM is a new component. So they decided, you know what, now is the time to get our children interested in STEM because kids in other countries are already there and we want our children to be just as equipped if they go somewhere else when um, to understand what STEM means. Mm -hmm. So we need the Department of Defense not just to write the check but also to help us um, enhance the students learning abilities when it comes to STEM. Mm -hmm. And how does that benefit the Defense Department to have kids who know, who know about science, technology, engineering, and math? Every year there are 
competitions when it comes to STEM activities and the United States don't want to be last so therefore it is a great program to get those kids started and with robotics and with chemistry experiments with um, whatever else, lo, 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 um, Legos and what have you, those children are interested in these things. And you'll be surprised how many students are interested in science if you just open the door and let them see what's out there. Okay, cool. Cool. What's your background? Well, my background is I'm an educator. I taught in Chatham County Schools for over 30 some odd years. I'm a retired um, teacher. Um, in Chatham County at Hubert Middle School, language arts, mm -hmm. and I'm also a retired um, National Guard person. I was the state command chief for the Georgia Air National Guard. Mm -hmm. So I have um, the ability to do the educational side as well as the military side mm -hmm. because I've been involved with both. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you want people to know about this program? I want people to know that Star Base Savannah is alive and well and kicking. We want every school that has a fifth grade class to come to Starbase Savannah. We want all of the ch children to understand that this program is just not for uh, the elite, but it's for everyone. So rather they are special needs, if they can handle the classroom, we want the children here. All children, Chatham County, need to be in this program to see the evidence of what happens at the end of this program. They come as one way, they leave as another. You'll be surprised because these children are ready. They are more ready for this than some adults. So send the children. Mm -hmm. and, and how improved success? How have, has it been successful? It has been successful because the children are now leaving Starbase Savannah from fifth grade and now that we have the STEM Academy here in Chatham County, a lot of them are now applying to go to the STEM Academy and when they leave the STEM Academy, they're already applying now to go to ninth grade at Johnson High School or Jenkins High School or Woodville Tompkins. So it's really moving every ladder from elementary to middle to high. So they are now becoming the people that we want them to become later on in life. Uh -huh. So this is, and I, now I, I think the picture, um, you're the grammar school component. Yes. You're, okay. Yes. We start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And we start at fifth grade. Fourth grade, we tried a couple of fourth grade classes, but they're just a little too young to handle mm -hmm. all of the experiments that um, handle we do here at Starby Savannah. So fifth grade is 10 years old. They're, they're, that's a great start. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're building the foundation for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's All right. You looking at each other? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, now. All right, ladies. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve, she's been here since October. She's my new instructor. She came here with a, with a, with a spouse's tour and mm -hmm. fell in love with the place. And I messed around and said, we were looking for, we need another instructor. And she just went for it. I said, oh. Five, seven. <laughs> all right, sir. First of all, how do you always seem so completely unflappable when obviously there are fires going on every day in your life? How about that? <laughs> I mean, you know, Shakespeare said you're an uh, actor on the stage of life and you play the role. 
So that's what you do. You don't take anything personally so you don't get stressed out, you know. <laughs> just the frenzy. Is... I, was, I was thinking I'm watching you and you're as pleasant as you can be and <laughs> you don't seem to have a care in the world and I know you got lots of care. No, no you, you know, but you, if you got a good team, yeah. and I just, I met with a team with lady to some of that incident situations yesterday, we're in good shape. Uh -huh. So, you know, you don't worry. You trust them. You know, it's about trust. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Now, then, um, so Starbase, um, what, now your role is you guys make, provide transportation for the kids. Yes, yes. What do you think the school system gets out of Starbase? Well, the, the interest I had in Starbase goes back for a number of years, even prior to arriving in Savannah as superintendent. Um, I was on the board of Starbase in my former district uh, that Starbase was sponsored through the Navy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a very beneficial program to introduce students to um, science, mathematics, um, engineering, um, the, the whole different world than so many early students get exposed to. Mm -hmm. And so when I arrived in Savannah, uh, I found that there was interest here from Scott Martins who came to visit and said, do you know about Starbase? And I said, what? I didn't expect this, you know, because it's always has been a, a, a program sponsored by the Navy. And so this was not a Navy community, but uh, it had a military community, but not Navy. And so I thought, how do we do this? And so Scott started the initiative. And I think um, Colonel O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan, the former superintendent, had interest in it as well. Mm -hmm. And they had been talking, but nothing had really moved forward. So I was excited about getting into the partnership. And so with that, it provides students an exposure to what we know today as STEM. Uh, we didn't use that term in 2005, mm -hmm. but today it exposes them to STEM. It kind of whets their appetite. Uh, and that's what you want, because now we have the STEM pathway from the STEM Academy at Bartlett all the way to now uh, Jenkins High, which is a now high school certified program. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's so important for students to give them that exposure to kind of whet their appetite uh, to get them interested. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How great is the need for students in that area? Uh, it, it's it's extremely important for not only to to motivate students to learn at higher levels, but it's also important for the future of our country. Uh, students from other countries, and I've had the opportunity to do international work, and I found the students in the countries I've worked with to be far more advanced in the areas of science and mathematics than the students that I've worked with in, uh, in, in Savannah as well as in Virginia. And so it, it's so important for students to understand the importance of uh, these topics uh, to be a, a world competitor because they're going to be the future of this country. And without the scientists and the mathematicians, we can be defeated easily. And it's a fifth grade program. Why fifth grade? Does that make sense? Why does it make sense? Um, it, it's fifth grade because they're mature enough to understand the, the, the topics that are, they're exposed to, mm -hmm. uh, some of the scientific equations that they have to know about, um, you know, velocity, force, and so forth. Uh, they have to understand that, and they have enough mathematics foundation to, to be able to work the problems that they have to solve. Mm -hmm. So it's a fifth grade, uh, simply because of the, of the maturity of the students at that level, mm -hmm. and it, it aligns well with the curriculum mm -hmm. and the standards. Uh, however, I like it because it also is kind of an intro uh, for the student who might be looking at what do they want to do when they get to the middle level, because that's where many families in our school district make choices about where do they go for the pathways, for the specialty programs, for the choice programs. And this kind of says, okay, uh, yes, I'm talented in the arts, but wow, I didn't understand that I had some talents in the sciences as well. Mm -hmm. So it kind of gives them an exposure that they haven't had previously. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's the, that's the important part mm -hmm. for a tour. Do you then build on that? 
do I have? Do you build? Do you build on that? What happens in fifth grade? How? Oh, absolutely. Um, and and uh, you know, when when Starbase started, uh, my interest in was to have the STEM pathway uh, because we didn't have the middle school STEM program at all uh, at that point. Uh, we didn't have. We had the Jenkins High uh, Engineering program, but it it wasn't to the extent that we have today. And I saw this as the pathway, the intro to the pathway for that. And now, if you look at the STEM pathway, I have over 500 students on a wait list from the lottery who want to get into the program. Mm -hmm. And Starbase has helped to, uh, I think, to motivate those kids and families to want to go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, is this offering something that can't be had elsewhere? Um, you know, it, it takes the partnership with the, with the military because it's the environment that the students find themselves in. Um, it's, it's so important to have that partnership with the military community. Uh, they provide the, the uh, mentors from the, the, the military personnel that's involved with it. Uh, they come over, they work with the students, they encourage those students. So it's more than just curriculum. It's about building that environment, uh, setting an environment that's different from a school environment. And so you want that child to have a different experience, um, even from you know space shuttles. Uh, they actually do fly their rockets and so forth. Um, but the, the military helps to provide that environment, along with a lot of the partnerships that we have with others. Gulfstream is a great partnership with uh, Starbase, they provide a lot, a great deal of resources, as well as other organizations as well, and companies have also come to the table mm -hmm. to help with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think obviously the the military and Gulfstream <laughs> both have a dog in the fight of having. Oh, I have, absolutely, um, because uh, whether you're flying a a, a G650, I think is the new uh, flight mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, jet. Uh, and maybe some of these kids may be even the pilot of those uh, of that uh, aircraft at some point, or whether they are going to be the future trips to Mars. Uh, you know, uh, uh, today's kindergarten child is going to be, have a whole different world than the one that I experienced or uh, that others have, and so uh, this kind of gets them prepared for their future for jobs that don't even exist today that I don't even know what they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you've made STEM a, a very large focus for the public school system. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud that uh, my people, when I say my people, my teachers, my principals, my administrative team here, my school board, all came together to make this happen. That's how we have that number one STEM medal in the state as well as the nation. Mm -hmm. And that's why we just two weeks ago became certified at Jenkins High School. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that because as we move into East Blush 3, I'm asking the people to support East 3 so that we can build a STEM high school at Jenkins. Mm -hmm. And so that would be, uh, I'm, I'm proposing a full standalone high school for STEM mm -hmm. uh, so that the children will have a clear pathway uh, to go into the science and mathematics area. Mm -hmm. When does East Plus 3 come up? The, uh, the E3 is to be voted on on November the 8th. This uh, year? Yeah, this year. And so uh, I need that vote to complete the pathway. Mm -hmm. um, we, we've got everything certified now. We've been recognized from the national level. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of interest in our program. Uh, this would kind of put the frosting on the cake so that we can really uh, make that uh, engineering program, science program, mathematics program, uh, you know, reality. And Starbase has helped us to do just that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned sort of anecdotally the students you've, you've worked with in other countries being more competitive in this field. Mm -hmm. are, there, are there national numbers about how we compare? Um, you know, the last I uh, had was that, and and working, I worked with Japan for 18 years, mm -hmm. um, and I've worked with Czech Republic now for about 15, um, and we are in the high 20s and 30s. They are down in the teens, mm -hmm. um, and maybe a little lower, mm -hmm. uh, as far as not lower but higher in ranking 
than we are. So there's a, there's a, a nice gap between where the United States stands in that area and these countries. And so, but they start early. That's the, that's the, the critical part is that they don't wait. And again, I, I give the Starbase a real, uh, you know, plus because it helps that. However, we are now even working backwards into the elementary grades and we have so many elementary schools that are trying and working to become STEM certified mm -hmm. so that we have a clear focus on that side of the brain. Mm -hmm. You know, every child, you got the left side of the brain, the right side of the brain, mm -hmm. and they don't function the same. And so some children can sing on key and they can do a plie and they can play musical instruments. The other ones are, are the mathematicians, the, the engineers, the scientists. So there's two parts to your thinking. And so you're, you're really looking to try to educate the whole child regardless of what talents or interests they may have so that uh, you may have some that have both, and that's wonderful. But usually you'll have one side or the other that will be dominant. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're trying to do is to give the children those options and opportunities to be whatever they want to be when they grow up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the last one. What do you want people to know about the Starbase program? Um, I think the important thing is that it's funded uh, from the federal budget uh, and it's funded through the military. And so the important thing is that we need the support of our government, of our military um, uh, personnel, uh, all working together for the, the interest of the children, local children, and the families that benefit from this, the Starbase program. So it's not, it just doesn't happen from the school district. Uh, we provide the transportation. We provide the children. All of the other support comes from the federal budget. So it's important that we communicate how valuable it is to our children so that we can be the future of this country and lead in that area of mathematics, science, technology, engineering, and so forth. Perfect. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you All so right. much. All right, sir. Um, yeah, just so I don't screw this up, tell me your name and spell your last name for me if you would. Okay, Dale Coulter, C-O-L-T-E-R, no U. Okay. They, they left our family a long time ago. Okay. So. <laughs> and your position at Gulfstream is? I'm the director of the Test Labs organization. Okay. All right. Sounds like fun. Yeah, it's, it's a great fun. <laughs> I'll show you guys what's out in this hangar before you leave. So. Okay. Um, so to that big first question, um, why and how is Starbase valuable to the community? So Starbase is a national program. It's sponsored by the Department of Defense, and each community has an opportunity to compete for one. So we competed for one here in Savannah to help build a bridge between the, the military a little bit and the educational system with this unique uh, program that's geared at fifth graders. And a lot of people say, why fifth graders? Well, if we motivate fifth graders to take math and science in middle school, then they'll take math and science in high school. And if they bail out in fifth grade, and middle school, they'll never take those advanced classes in high school. And for us, that's just a very important thing from the, the nation's perspective, and, it, and it's good for our community, and it's good for the students. Great. What need would you say to Starbase fill? Starbase is interesting because it's a gap filler, but it helps the fifth grade students uh, and teachers who may be of one specialty or another. Because remember, in elementary school, you only have one teacher normally. You don't have subject matter teachers until middle school. But in elementary school, that, that elementary teacher may not be a specialist in math or science. So the teachers come with the students. They participate as well as the students and learn how to do these hands-on application-oriented teaching things and they take those back with them and then we give them additional resources online they can access anytime both the students and the teachers mm -hmm. and, and can fulfill more learning in the classroom by using these hands-on techniques that Starbase uses and, and demonstrates and actually teaches the teachers as well as the students so that's a great partnership. That's great and I had absolute. Have you seen results? Results is probably the hardest thing at the macro level. At the micro level, we get them every class. And so the students get to share with us how they liked that week at, at school. And uh, Betty Morgan emails out a summary after every class. 
and we get to see the results of that class. But Dr. Lockamy has uh, really taken a keen interest in this, and so he, at the, the school superintendent level, is actually tracking the participation of Starbase students as they progress through middle school, as they progress through high school, to just see if we can tell, you know, which ones did and which ones didn't. But he wants to be able to show that the success of Starbase is in the data and so we, we appreciate him doing that for us but having the school superintendent on board is a big win for Starbase and, and a great thing for us as the local Savannah board. Mm -hmm. And how long has Starbase been in this community? So we've been active about six years. Uh, we had to do some recruiting to get the teacher base set up and then start working with a network of schools. Initially it was us contacting schools to say would you come now it's school saying, why can't we get in? Uh, and I, uh, I participate with Betty trying to down select which schools. We try to move it around a little bit because there's so many fifth grade classes that want to come. And a lot of them try to say, uh, they'll, they'll compete within the school and send their 25 most interested students. Because some kids that have no interest, you know, don't want to necessarily waste their day there. But uh, we want to get the students who really want to be there. And so some schools don't send a full class. They'll combine and send 10 from one class, 10 from another, and send 20 mm -hmm. as a group. But it's really competitive now. The teachers want to be there, and the students want to go. That's cool. So why does Gulfstream support the program? Well, Starbase is one of the STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math uh, programs that Gulfstream likes to sponsor. And we have a whole uh, spectrum of uh, support we provided the community, with this being targeted at the, the youngest uh, area of students with fifth graders. And we also support a couple of eighth grade uh, visits to the, uh, the, the plant here. We used to do a, a more involved program, but it's more targeted to individual classes coming with eighth graders to have an aviation experience with us for a day. And then we have high school programs. We support the Savannah Science Seminar. We're a corporate sponsor of that, which is targeted at high school juniors. About 30 juniors get to participate. Uh, this year we had six different sessions that Gulfstream sponsored, but that's area-wide companies that support that as well as Gulfstream. And then we do high school apprentices. So we have uh, select high school students get to come work as apprentices. I have three that work with me in the labs. And there, there's, I don't know the exact total number, but there's a, a good number of high school students who, it's kind of like uh, Votech. They go to school part day and come work for us part day. And it's, it's very cool to get the, them involved and, and learn. And then probably the pinnacle is our college intern and co-op programs. We have a very robust uh, intern program for the summer. But throughout the year, we have college students here working as co-ops. And most of them are technical, and most of the interns are technical. So we see this benefit of STEM at the fifth grade, high school, or middle school, high school, and then collegiate levels with the ultimate goal of building a more technologically astute workforce for us and our community.